We have arrived Glasgow at night, so let's bring you to our first dinner at the Dabar. It's the best Indian food I have ever had in a few years. The next morning, we headed to the George Square, and we have seen a lot of statues, and birds, and bird poo. When we are on our way to the next station, we are very lucky to see the parade celebrating the king's birthday. I love the arts in Glasgow. Not only because of the colorful and beautiful pictures, but also the sense of humor inside the art piece. Look at the statue of the Duke in front of the gallery. It has a traffic cone on his head. So we have to learn from the locals. Look at the art piece. Jack has made the same art in front of this art piece, which is an action of art as well. Then it's dinner time. We have to try the seafood in Glasgow, and absolutely the oyster and the scallop. Waking up the next day, we have been to the Hidden Garden. Look at the flowers. I mean, it's hidden for a reason. We finally tried our first British afternoon tea at the Butterfly and the Pig. It's a cute cafe with lovely cutleries, teapots, and also the interior designs. We also visited the University of Glasgow, and again, we were amazed by the art sense of the Glasgow University, and we have bumped into their choir practice. Let's enjoy. And we have our own magic show in the university. And behind the scene, there were a lot of hard work and guidance. We were heading to the botanic garden, and we enjoyed the plants and the swallow there. And guess what? It's ski next time. Hold your beer and end our enjoyable trip in Glasgow. We will see you in Edinburgh.